Well, neuromyelitis optica is um, a separate disease from multiple sclerosis, but patients get mi misdiagnosed with MS all the time, and treatments for MS are very detrimental in neuromyelitis optica, NMO, and so uh, there's there's an antibody test that has separated those two diseases as completely distinct entities, but nonetheless patients are still getting um, the wrong diagnosis and therefore the wrong treatment. So differentiating between those two diseases is extremely important. So neuromyelitis optica um, is a recurrent autoimmune disease that affects, predominantly affects the, uh, the, the spinal cord and the optic nerves. Um, so you get events similar to multiple sclerosis and recurrent like multiple sclerosis, thus the reason it can be tough to differentiate. And we're finding out more and more that it can affect the brain as well, especially the brain stem and the hypothalamus, thus complicating things even more. Um, and the attacks tend to be more fulminant, more severe than in MS, and recovery is much less than it is in MS. And so. Um, that's why it's important to early on really differentiate between the two. NMO it makes up about 1.5 percent of all demyelinating, recurrent demyelinating diseases in the United States. And so there's, um, there's a rare disease is less than 200,000 and ultra rare is less than 10,000. We're in the ultra rare uh, numbers there. We're talking about 4 to 8 percent, whereas MS is 350,000 or 400 um, and so it is extremely rare which is why it does get under recognized but or ophthalmology in general I would say would need to because patients might um, present with just an optic neuritis and um, and they might not know that this is an, a significant test to send, that it should just be standard workup for optic neuritis. And then transverse myelitis, those tend to be neurologists, and so um, obviously trans, uh, uh, neurologists as well. Actually, it's a, a minority disease, and so if you look at um, Asia and South America and Afro-Caribbean countries, it's actually much more prevalent um, as compared to MS, it's still less. Singapore, it's about one to one ratio, but here, you know, 1.5%. So it's um, just not as thought about. So it's not just like they're getting water, it's like they're getting something toxic because if they were literally left on no therapy, they would probably do better, which isn't saying a lot um, because the recurrence of disease is about every seven months in untreated patients. But uh, there, I don't think there's any specific number with, say, an interferon beta-1A, one of the MS drugs that's particularly toxic in NMO, but we know that they just clinically do worse.